Call the meeting to order the Raleigh Board of Water Commissioners. Today is the October 17th. It is 6.03. First thing on the agenda is update progress report on well number two. Um, so I spoke with uh, Ari Erickson last night. They had one last item to, to wrap up on the PLC before they were able to uh, bring it on the site and start installing it. I believe we're still about two weeks out, though. Okay. What's what's the one item that? It was integrating the uh, our current security system into into the uh, PLC. And PLCs can can monitor the building's uh, security. That's already um, it's already being done, so it didn't need to be doesn't need to be integrated. It will be connected just so we get the alarm. Well, that's all. Anything? Any other questions? So, are you are you confident in the two week estimate that you just? Yep. And we're all set on our end once they reinstall the um, the, the panel that we can do all the all the clearing. Yep. The we. Testing. Yep. We have to. Um, so there'll be a few days of uh, training because it's a new uh, it's a new setup, new system. Uh, a few days of training. And but during during the training, we would already have the well flushed out and have bacteria sampled out to the lab because uh, we have to we have to wait for those to come back um, negative before we can turn the water onto the town, <clears throat> which will allow us some time to, to do the training. All right, and and the panel that they're putting together is the kind of a, a standard panel. We're not expecting any kind of hooks. No, it's it's pretty standard for for new panels. It'll be it'll be completely different from what we've had. So that's why we get the training. There, there may be small issues with the travelability of the programming, but that's common, and they're usually very simply rectified by on on site. I'm just kind of nervous because this looks like it's a, a, re, a complete rework. Yep. And it is. It's pretty much that's what it is. Yeah, it's it's because so the other the other one was obsolete. Right. No, I I, I, I get that. Yeah. I'm just thinking that we. It's just the whole timing thing, the whole length of time that the world's yeah. going to have. Well, one of the reasons it's been taking so long is that you know, once they put the panel together, they're they're testing it out at their shop. With right. just instruments to make sure that at least the, the panel is communicating with itself properly. Yeah. All right. Okay. You're all set? Yep. Yeah. You're all set, John. Yeah. Old business number two discuss video surveillance SOP. After the last meeting, I had this sent out to everybody. I don't know if they had a chance to read it. And now I, didn't. Yeah. I, I know I didn't have a chance to read it, to be honest with you. Been kind of a busy time. If you want to put it off to so we get a chance to to read through it. Well, any comments? Did you get a chance to read it, Brian? Just before the, just before the meeting. So my issue is these the exterior views are non problematic. Is mm -hmm. that correct? Correct. There are no issues. So the only issues will be with the interior views. And so I, as I see it, there are four interior, interior, more than, four interior views here and one interior view of the water treatment plant. Yeah, I think there's about three at the treatment plant. Oh, okay. This is, there's the treatment lab, the entry, and the, and the Should be one of the main hall. Too. Yeah, I guess that's the. No, it's this three. Now, Rob, you met with the company, right? Yeah, Net Technologies. And discussed it? Yes. Um, under our old contracts, they still owe us. Um, 
that they, they come back and actually press the uh, record button for all of our cameras. Mm -hmm. that, that was written in the old contract and they still owe us that. They still will do it. Um, but if we want to, if we want to eliminate, only record some of the cameras and not all of them, and uh, get retrained on the program, if nobody, nobody left here has received any training on the program, um, okay. I would have to write up a, a new scope of work and, and have them give us a price on that work. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah. So we know what we're talking about, because we should have this up and operational to where it should go, you know, where it should be, not where it was. Yep. And we had questions about this, uh, about the SOP on the, um, mm -hmm. who actually gets uh, viewing privileges. Um, That's why we're discussing it. Yeah. I, I, I really don't think that. I think that the board should have final uh, approval of what is actually released as far as any video. Right? Yeah, it has, it has to go I through us. I, I, I think that uh, you know, regardless of whether the superintendent feels it should be released or not, I think that the board should have final say. I'd also drive it through the personnel department uh, right. office, just because it's you know, people on the issue. Mm -hmm. you know? Obviously, if, if there was a break-in at the plant and, and the video had to be reviewed as a... That would probably be the only reason why the only reason to reviewing it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the police would be working on it. Mm -hmm. But we have to have somebody that can release it. And I would say mm -hmm. that it would have to be released by superintendent and the chairman of the board, maybe. And in their absence, it would be another board member. And then the... That way you have checks and balances. And then the second and the five sides, whoever the superintendent is, and... Yeah, was it yeah. Uh, Kathy, or is it... No, so... But if we're in two, we have primary and secondary, just like we have you right. to walk. I mean, I, 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 I feel that, it, I, it, that the board should have final say on mm -hmm. what is released. But I think that, that primary operator and the distribution foreman should have access to it if needed. Mm -hmm. Should have from yeah. and the superintendent. That way anybody underneath it doesn't have it. Yeah. So and, and, and it can't be and it can't be and in that way it has to be with possibly the chairman of the board okaying it. So they have the checks and balances between the employees and the board. Because it's not going to be something, that if, if, if the police need it, it's going to have to be done as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. so, but it's, it's a work in progress. Those are, I mean, that's the only, reading through here, that's the only mm -hmm. thing that, uh, uh, if you can, I, if um, you guys could go through it and maybe highlight the things you want you think need to be changed mm -hmm. and then we can review it mm -hmm. and possibly change them if that's what we decide to do. Right. And, then, so, so, and, so, and the, you know, that, that makes sense. Um, what about this acknowledgement of consent and release form? I thought that was the next. <coughs> in, in its current form, and is there something that we need to Work on. If we could attach an A, that means the titles, obviously, the titles of people that authorized. Um, yeah. That's, you know, that's and I, I kind of agree with the chain here. That just needs to be updated. And definitely, uh, Jared and Rick need to be involved. Yeah, and then with regards to the acknowledgement of consent relief, I thought we ran this by town council. Mm hmm. Because we got input from Judy. Right. Okay. I just want to, if there's some things that need to be changed because it's been so long, and then I'm going to run it up to Debbie. And yeah. So, I guess for you guys, um, 
go through it, give us back what you think should be changed, uh, and cameras that should be shut off for the next meeting? Yeah, I'm going to make a uh, draft scope of work to uh, show you guys. That and how much it's going to cost to, to get it up and running? Mm -hmm. And we still have the union situation. Well, yeah, that's, why it's going, yeah. that's why it's going to Debbie. Right. But I'm actually meeting with the union tomorrow on another issue that we might talk about. This. So, 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 Kathy, the same applies to you. As you look through this, if there's any, you have any issues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Since you will be on the big screen, so to speak, or the little screen. Mm -hmm. So, what what kind of timeline? To, to, to the so the next meeting, I'd, I'd like to, to push this on and to put on the agenda for the next meeting. For their and, comments. And you will, you will close the loop with the union. Yep. I'll take care of that once once we've got our end done, then we will go to to town hall what needs to be done there. Okay. All right, old business number three. Mr. Chair, may yeah. I ask a quick question? Okay. Why wasn't there a uh, citizen's quarry tonight? Because uh, I decided to eliminate it off the meeting permanently. Okay. I see no use of it because we can't answer any questions. If you have an issue that you'd like to be brought up before the board that can't be handled by our employees, um, you can put it in writing and give it to Kathy and she will Present it to me, and I will decide whether it goes on to the board meeting or not. Okay. So was that voted on? It doesn't open? have to be voted on. Okay. All right. Thank you. Under the open meeting law. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the All chairman right, has on. a decision on what goes on to the meeting. Okay. All okay. Right. So yeah, and I would just this current acknowledgement seems to be a complete. Covers much more than the surveillance as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm -hmm. so if you guys have, uh, I would take a look through that. It just mm -hmm. it's just so it's kind of broad in scope. And mm -hmm. We're certainly open to kind of. I'm certainly open to amendments to that release. For that strikes me as being too big. Too well, I, again, I, I, I feel that the water board issue should be first to. Yeah, I, I, to I'm only talking about, about this. The release this, that you this picked up the sign? Release, which seems as though. I don't know where that came from, whether it was something from us or something that came from legal, I don't know. But we have to look into it. Yeah. This was all on our server. Mm -hmm. So I just tried to gather whatever I could find that um, Mary Beth well. had presented to you at some point. Right. So we're just trying to get everything together. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't That's okay. Uh, well, business number three, discuss well two four log. Uh, the last meeting, Bernie had inquired about possibly running pipes up to the new fire police station. Yeah, using um, that construction project to obviate that that, that project has already gone way too far beyond to 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 even consider including that. Um, we had to meet with the. It's actually already gone out to bid, and we had to go and make decisions on where the water main were going, and um, just while we're on that subject, um, we had. Uh, Bob and Rob and myself met with the engineers. We decided where the main's going to go in. Uh, we kind of made some concessions and they did some stuff for us to help us out. So the old water main going into the police station, um, they want to eliminate it, which goes out to the ball field. They have to, so I asked them if they could completely eliminate it and put an uh, inline gate there which is to our advantage. Mm -hmm. So they agreed to do that. 
On the other side, they're having the lines go into the police and fire station. But they have to run a line into the rec field because the rec field has their water main. We went over a bunch of different s scenarios. Um, Bob and Rob were concerned to have a line without a hydrant on it because they want to be able to keep it flushed and cleaned and everything. So what we decided is there's a hydrant out there already. We deemed it needing to be replaced. So we're going to replace it with one of the ones we have out back. Mm -hmm. And they're going to install it for us. Mm. So, so this is a hydrant that's that's already existing behind the police station is getting eliminated. Okay. But it was the one that was cleaning out, and there wasn't any plans to have a hydrant right. put in there. So, instead of moving an older hydrant and putting it over there, we're going to give them a brand new one and the fittings to go with it. Yeah, and they're going to install it. Right. So that it's between the buildings and the ball field. Yep. It's the line for the ball field. So it really doesn't have anything to do with the police and fire station, that line at all. It's just because it, they had to move it because of where it is. There's going to be a police station sitting on top of it. So I thought that was a win-win for both of for us on that project. Because they're also using that line for bottles. Yeah, this, it's going to be bottled water. They're actually using it for drinking water. For drinking water. And the way it is set up right now, that's a, a long dead end. Yeah, that's why I was in the office. Mm -hmm. I also allow a measurable distance from the well to to that location and we're looking at laying fifteen hundred feet apart. Mm -hmm. That's a real big expense. Yeah. So we did we did discuss I'm this way did thirteen hundred feet. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's where we stood with that. So we're back to the original plans whenever we decide we wanna do that. Um, I would, we can't do anything so until we, after the next time. Can we put this. this out to bid? <coughs> no. Well, just, no. No, no, it hasn't even been, it we hasn't haven't even voted the funding yet. Yeah. There's I mean, a cost estimate. All right. It has to be designed. <coughs> so we were discussing doing it because of the possibility of a fall town meeting. Yeah. But now we put it off till what we continue our budget season. Okay. Oh, this is number four, HVAC for this building. I talked to Natalie today. It, once I gave my approval, it was gone out for requests for proposals. Um, due back, I believe, just going from memory, the 1st of November. November 8th, yeah. Okay. So we've got a couple of typos then. They may have been caught, so. On page, there's one typo. On page, the contract period works to begin with 15 days of notice of award and completed by January the 5th, 2017. Well, time only moves in one direction, and it ain't backwards. <laughs> <laughs> These, these Some people are right. These are rough drafts. And this was a rough draft. She's, she's, I just sent that out for everybody right. to, to oh, okay. look over. All right. So assuming that right. that's correct. The other question I had, and it may be... The, if you notice the date's wrong, too, on it, when it went out. So it's actually one of the seven days. Actually, I think the final draft was just sent to us for a so. All right. So as long as that, that error was caught, cool, mm -hmm. that's fine. But the other thing is... I mean, I know that um, you know a lot of contracts only has one year of warranty on on, on essentially on the installation. I don't understand why, and particularly with you've got a, a system which is going to have um, seasonal, very much seasonal demands on it. Mm. I see no reason why we couldn't expand that to two or three years. What happens with a warranty is you pay for it. If you they include a one year. If you want two or three year, you're gonna they're gonna they're gonna have to charge money for that. Right. So but I would still so that's at least 
when it comes back, ask them what the, the two or three year time horizon would be because it's a big enough system that, I mean, I, I don't really want to put out a big, put for a big project like this and then basically have them say that we're, we're only going to stand behind it for a year. That makes well, we just paid a $13 million for it. It was only there. I know, but well, that's not small. I don't think it's well, almost all of your electronic electronic gear and components now are only guaranteed by the manufacturer for one year. And that's usually not from the date that you install, it's usually from the date that you purchase it and have it on site. So if um, that's why most of them have a one year contract. One year well, but we're we're in the, we're in the purchasing position, and, and they if I'm make, if I'm if I'm doing it, I would want to walk away from this clean hands as fast as mm -hmm. possible, and let the customer eat the any later expense. But I don't think, as the customers, we should assume that. I think we should do what we think is makes the most sense. If the in, in one. This, this only gives us one cycle to kind of go through this heating and cooling season. And so I this is, I'm sorry. I, I think that you're, 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 if, if you're looking at an extended warranty, then that would be based on whoever we have for a contractor and what equipment that they are actually installed. Because um, each contractor has their own equipment. But I would obviously look into the fact that uh, if there is an extended warranty, and uh, if it is, then I would say that we'd have to put that into a budgetary plan or something. But, yeah. but then also, if anybody, is this bid going up? Is this bid spec going up? Yeah. There you go. So it gives anybody that's going to look at this bid spec and bid on it, if they want to get an advantage to themselves, and it, it, there's a roll of the dice for the vendor to offer us mm -hmm. a two year warranty. You know, they quote eat that cost. Uh, that's a pretty big gamble on their part. However, it would I would look very favorably on someone that would say, mm -hmm. and we'll give you a two-year warranty mm -hmm. versus someone with a one. And if it's within you know mm -hmm. X uh, dollars on the contract, you come down to, to look at the building because there's a requirement for them to come look at the building. They could be have that suggested to them. Well, whatever, whatever <coughs> their their uh, some uh, venue that uh, you know we can always look into the fact. Purchase it for the contract. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. New business number one. I just had everybody get a copy of the uh, abatement policy just to review. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked that possibly we wanted to make some changes in it. Um, so it's open if somebody wants to. <coughs> for abatement, customers accept this is under that paragraph 13, 713, second paragraph. In order to qualify for abatement, a customer's excess consumption must exceed the greater of 150% or 40,000 gallons above their normal average consumption. Well, it seems, strikes me that 40,000 gallons is a massive amount of of, of water, um, that you know, if, if your bill is three times what it typically is, you that could be a, an economic hardship. And mm -hmm. I would. But uh, yeah. the way we have this written, mm -hmm. it's at one hundred fifty percent or forty thousand. And many times when we look, we just say forty thousand is a cutoff, yeah. and it necessarily isn't. So mm -hmm. we actually probably made the right decision. A couple of ones we're on the fence about in the past. Uh, my concern is, is is when there's no repairs made. Mm -hmm. So that means that they didn't <coughs> have a leak. Somebody physically turned a valve on 
and didn't turn it off. I don't feel we're responsible for that. No, I'm, I, I don't believe. And that's the last one that we, we did. What we're basically what saying go. is it's a one time in a five year period. Mm -hmm. And we're not covering the entire ex excess expense. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it just seems to me as though it would be um, positive for, the, for our customers, to, for them to know that we understand that inadvertent things do happen and that there is, mm -hmm. you get, what's, what's that insurance, auto insurance company? Accident forgiveness mm. once five years. It's better than they do. For sure. um, I think it's, it's, it's so it's, you say three hundred percent, three times the normal, instead of one hundred and fifty percent, because it's it's to exceed three hundred percent of their their normal average consumption. What are you saying, 300? No, I'm suggesting 300 oh, okay. instead oh. of 150. And I think the 100, I'm comfortable with the 150. I think the way we have this is right. And Mark, you know, you pointed out that um, it's, the, um, it's not for um, stupidity, I guess, is the best way. Or, or, or I mean, you, uh, inattention, I guess, is the right you, word to you say. You leave your light on mm -hmm. for a week and forget it up in your attic or whatever, mm -hmm. you don't go for the light department for an abatement. Well, so what is the magnitude right. in, in addition? But yeah, I think that it also, the way this is written, also gives us the ability to make a judgment call if, mm -hmm. if it's not needed. And perhaps we should put on an annual uh, thing uh, for the board meeting that we review some of the standard, you know, some of our past decisions or, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, abatement and other things um, annually to just kind of give ourselves a refresher and say, hey, mm -hmm. this, is the, this is the rules, by the way. If you notice, it's like one of the top things that I've carried with me every, every meeting since I started is the abatement policy. Because mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you, when I was on here before, there was no rhyme or reason to it. It was just if they decided to give you one this week, they did. If they did next week, there was no rules or regulations. Or, that's why, that's why I feel so strongly about this because I really did not like it the last time I was on the board. I think what we have is, is workable, mm -hmm. reasonable, and sustainable. Um, I don't really see a need to change a Okay. I don't know, in my opinion. What do you think? No, I, I, I think the 40,000 gallon, because the way this is worded, it must exceed the greater of 150 percent or 40,000 gallons. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, 150 percent of <laughs> is, is not that much of a yeah, small 150 user. 150 percent is for most people is we're talking about 5,000 gallons. Typical 4,000 gallons is the typical home homeowner, and 4,000 gallons. And the now we're getting the bills. In a reasonable way, that's um, that's probably what we're, we're talking about. And I just can't imagine that somebody's going to um, get close to forty thousand gallons who, who, in fact, deserves an abatement. Well, forty thousand gallons sounds like it, that's a that's the fire department. That's the hydrant department. No offense. <laughs> We but use lots of water. Yeah. Do, do you want to increase the two hundred percent? That would be like a doubling of the bill. Well, sense. I was willing to go to three hundred percent just for your, your your point. You know, mm -hmm. you want to exclude out people who just it's negligence, but I would drop the forty thousand gallons. I mean, I, I don't understand why it doesn't serve any purpose. It's it's, it's it must exceed three hundred percent of the normal. Average consumption. Forty thousand gallons. Just <clears throat> you got right. the per mm -hmm. the first thing that we do when we get a problem with there's been a high usage. The first thing that we ask them to do is a data log, and that takes all the information from the media. I think it goes back about three months. <clears throat> and we looked at that data logger, and even in some instances when there's been a uh, pipe burst, <clears throat> people were gone. We were able to tell them exactly when that happened. 
what mm -hmm. time of day and stuff because of the data log. And the data logger uh, will actually tell you exactly each event of high usage, uh, say as uh, people with irrigation systems. You know, that they said, well, we didn't run it that much. But once we do the data logger, we look at it and, and it's been running steady because it was a program. So I think a lot of this could be based on the data logger information and, and looking at the results um, that would give you uh, a basis for making a decision on whether or not to um, give a, a rebate or how much. Right. No, yeah. I, I think that makes sense for the in within the situation. From the policy perspective, though, the forty thousand gallons just seems to be completely mm -hmm. arbitrary mm -hmm. and non-relevant to most yeah. people. I mean. The, the abate, I haven't seen that many abatements, and that's, most of them are in the ten or 15,000 gallon mm -hmm. range, which is about three times the, the, the usage. Mm -hmm. and, and the key word in that whole paragraph on, on, the, on the standard operating procedures is unpreventable. Mm -hmm. right. Leaving a faucet on is, not, is preventable. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 would, I, would, I kind of agree with Bernie that the 40,000 should go, mm -hmm. change that to 300 percent, and uh, I like 200 percent better, just the fact that it's double mm -hmm. usage and treble, it just seems, you know, if someone does have a problem, it's like, you know, it only double, it will only double, not triple, that's all. I, as long as that 40,000 gallon goes, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. So, and, and that means the, the structure of the sentence just changed must exceed 200% above the normal usage and strike um, the greater of 150% or 400,000. You yeah, just take out the greater yep. yeah. and, or 40,000 gallons yep. and then leave everything else. Yep. Change the 150 to 200 or 300. To whatever the motion is made to do. I'll make a motion of, uh, with the changes you said in 200%. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Did you get that, Kathy? Yeah. Okay. You took that vote. You should have checked it out. I, like I like the eliminating the 40,000 gallons. And increase it to two hundred seven. Three hundred a little. They could be really high to reach that point. Mm -hmm. All right. Reasonable seems, you know, just mm -hmm. like common sense seems to work. You know, twice. But you do have other things to base it on, also the next one is um, discuss the on-call emergency bids. It's just this is just. Um, and FYI, this is what we're working on. It's still, as it says, not for public release. So I just put it on the agenda so that you know what we're working on. And these guys are working hard on it with Natalie. Well, uh, and I just, I know it says not for public release, and then it basically says bid was, bid's released for the dam. So can we yeah, but it's, sure it's, it's, it's 2016. It's 2016. It's it's going. It, it's using some of previous ones. Um, we've gone and looked into other town to, uh, other towns, and we've set the format up a little bit different than the way it was in previous years. We're setting it more on the way actually Ipswich is going out to bid now, and that's why you're seeing these attachments in the back with the different things. Um, the other thing we're talking is, is we're doing a year's contract with an extension to possibly renew for two more years and to have those prices already bid out. So, like I said, this is still in, definitely in the draft stage, but I just wanted everybody to have just to look it over and come back with any suggestions that you have. Um, if you could get together with the uh, with Bob or Rob, and uh, they could bring him to Natalie. 
because she's working hard with them. We're, we're pretty, we're almost very close to yeah. completion. Yeah. So yeah. The cost being put out to bid, you, you have to meet the, uh, um, the regulatory uh, prices and so forth. Um, that go along with that. So it's prevailing wages and stuff. Right, but it was already under the right. mm -hmm. So, and the, the thing that's nice in here is we get to choose up to two providers. Right? Yes, that was the other change we did. Primary and secondary? Yes. Primary and secondary so that if we get company A for some reason isn't available or company B can do it quicker or whatever, we have options. So. That's a good way to do it. That was another suggestion that came out of Fitch. Good. Thank you. Okay, new business number two. Was number two. Three. Uh, three, I mean. Um, we're bringing, we have somebody that we interviewed, Bob and I and Nat and Amy have interviewed. We've done quite a few. Um, we have a name here that um, we all feel comfortable with hiring. He has experience. He's working as a uh, temporary worker in Angry Water right now. And because that's coming to an end, he's looking for full time employment. And they were able to provide him with a position. And I happen to have a friend on Angry Water that suggested that he apply. He didn't tell me that he had him apply until after we interviewed him. And uh, when he started, and the way he's answering the questions, I said, Do you know this person? And he goes, Oh, yeah, he, told, he asked me to apply. So, um, oh, did you talk to him? Yeah, we are, yeah, uh, yeah. He was interviewed with uh, between uh, Amy. Did you do it all at the same time? Yeah. Oh, okay. All at the same yeah. time. Okay. What we've been doing is, is we, the Bob, myself, and Amy get together at town hall. And we, the three of us do the interviews with the same 10 questions. And we kind of just tag team it and mm -hmm. go through and uh, if they don't know, because the last question we usually ask is, do they have any questions for us? That usually brings out different things. So, uh, I would like to present Barry White to be hired. So we recommend that the selectmen hire for our position as laborer too. Do the three of you agree? All three of you agree? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a great candidate. For yeah. Answer. So, I, I guess we would Ask a question on the sure. process here because I, I don't have any paper on the guy. Right. So is that uh, because well, because it's, it's it's basically it's private until he's hired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Debbie was actually I thought Debbie was going to have a retract retracted right. version of it, but I never saw it. She must have got busy. So is that is this is, this will be the first hire I've been directly involved in? So is that the S O P? That we, we essentially agree without seeing any paperwork on the ground or person? I think it's for us to vote without seeing something is um, problematic. Inappropriate, mm -hmm. frankly. That's like saying, um, pass this bill without reading it, mm -hmm. you wrote Nancy Pelosi. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, um, I don't think that we would. Do a vote uh, because we are deferring. <coughs> well, it has to be done. Week. Week. It has to be done before the selectmen's meeting next week. We have to vote. Yeah. So we have to either data call another special meeting. What are we voting on? If that's the voting. Fight. We don't hire. Right. We're just recommending to the selectmen to to hire. I think our vote would be to allow the chairman to make the recommendation. Because the board, I can't really recommend something I don't know what the hell I'm recommending. But I would vote to authorize you to make that recommendation. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I don't. I don't. I mean, it's, we're at the eleventh hour and fifty-nine <laughs> minutes, so no. I, I don't want to hold this up. Yeah, I don't even have his application because I can't have it. So. But you've seen it. Yes. And did you? Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I agree with John. I think our procedure for any future hires is that we. I feel obliged to look mm -hmm. at this in, and have direct input into it. And mm -hmm. questions to the chairman to bring to that subcommittee. 
on this, you know, after looking at this person. Like I said, I, th I, I thought we were getting a redacted version of it. I mm -hmm. was surprised when I opened the envelope and it wasn't there. So I would make a motion to authorize Mark to act on our behalf. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Again, going forward, I do. Going forward, see. I will make sure that there's the, 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 something to look at next time. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, the people on the, the board have experienced hiring people and understand. Uh, and I have, a, I have a lot of technical experience in terms of reading resumes and and etc. and it seems foolish not to take advantage of that. They've been doing HR stuff for 30 years. Yeah. yeah. HR. Okay. Number four. This is a suggestion for me. Um, obviously, we're not getting people with the licenses even. So my suggestion is, and I run it by Debbie, and she says it makes sense to her, is to unfund one of our positions that we have funded now and transfer the money into another uh, laborer two position so that we can have two laborers, one, you know, they can switch back and forth between the two, two divisions so they can work to get their licenses and, and, and eventually move up into the licensed positions. So do we just have to, when they're, when they're all licensed and, and whatnot, do we just have to open and open those old positions back up? And right, we're just, we're just unfunding it for the end of the, till the end of the fiscal year, because right. they won't be able to get their, their licenses before then. Right. They're not eliminating positions. So we're not eliminating any positions, we're just basically hiring somebody to work into those positions. Yeah, no, it's a good job to develop a funding. I've talked to a couple of the people in the industry, and even a friend of mine lives up in Maine, and uh, he's had to do the same thing in his water department, is he can't get licensed operators, so he's hired two laborers that he's sent to school and developing, developing them. Sure. So, um, I've asked these guys to come up with a proposal as to which position they would think would be best to unfund for the year. Yes, I suggest that you unfund the, um, I believe it's the, the treat, one of the water treatment operator jobs. Um, the lower one, which I think is the water treatment operator two. Okay. Whatever the lower pay scale treatment operator, eliminate that. I think it's water treatment operator two. Which would be 2464. To eliminate? To just do to eliminate, to, to transfer the funds into the position of labor two. <clears throat> so do we, we have to make that proposal to the board of selectmen, or how does that actually um, that transfer to? I was told that we had to vote to transfer the funds. It's basically an internal because it's all under the wages, wage form, so there's no meeting, town meeting or anything. It's just basically our internal Okay, so we can motion to defund the, oops, let me get the word right. The water treatment Make a motion to defund the water treatment operator to vacant position and to transfer that to funding to one at a time. Just look we'll yeah. it. I think it should be okay. We all done. Yeah. And, and, and to to transfer more. that funding into a new, um, what's the words? A uh, labor two position. A labor two, and to use those that money to fund a labor two position. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Yeah. Aye. yeah. 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 Yes. Kathy, did you get that? Yes. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's the lower, the lower pay scale one. It's sometimes it's confusing on what mm -hmm. exactly the exact job title is. They've been kind of, they've been slightly confused. I would like a, a lower pay scales operator position to be defunded. 
Well, that's what I paid the right. person. So mm -hmm. yeah. it, if it needs any adjustment, just let us know. But that's yeah. what we do. Yeah. Just that's what the intent of that vote just yes. was to do. If you find one, fund the right one, and if I use the wrong word, then we'll amend it. So in, on that topic, I, mean, I know we've, we've got one candidate, a um, mm -hmm. famous singer, I believe. Um, <laughs> uh, were there other viable candidates from the ones that you've seen, or are we still searching? I, uh, we, have, we have some more people that have applied. We haven't interviewed yet. But other than that, I really can't comment publicly. All right. So this is more of the pipeline, I guess that's mm -hmm. the question. Good thing. Yeah, also on this subject, I, I'd like to look into actually eliminating at some point one of, I think there's three treat, water treatment operator, full-time water treatment operator jobs, uh, which we don't, wouldn't need three. I have to look into it a little bit more. But. I would think that we, we discussed that on, on the, when we're budgeting for the yep. next fiscal year. Yep. What we what positions we want to fund. Mm. Okay. But we'd be open to it. Yes. I mean, whatever we need to do to make the DEP happy and have enough help. Mm -hmm. And on the distribution, that's that's on the distribution side. Treatment. Treatment. So on the distribution side, are you, are you going to be set? Uh, uh, we're still we still have the secondary. Position within the distribution. Right. We have filled the winner's position. Okay. That'll help. As of next month, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's a long process. Okay. I, I have to, I mean, this is not quite on the agenda, so you let me know if I'm going beyond the bounds here. But I do have to say that I worked with Rob and Bob on some of the budgeting items um, in preparation for the budget, and these guys are doing a first-rate job in terms of screwing out um, double counting and unknown <laughs> quantities of money. Um, not massive amounts, but still we're going to, and the next budget process should be a lot cleaner. We're all on the subject of discussing job descriptions and moving money from point to point. Um, how are you doing as far as updating the job descriptions and... Now we can go ahead and do more. Um, yeah, um, we need to probably expedite the okay. water superintendent one. We'll do. So I will work with these guys yep. and go over it and have a draft, hopefully for next week. Next meeting. Should be able to. That makes sense. Yep. Can we continue with the items that we want? So, okay. Approve and to sign the Tater and Howard change order for number two for Prospect Hill water tank improvements. I read this over. This is basically the what we asked for, what we asked for because they, they put the new pipe. Um, we don't have that. The business number five. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I think you might I, have the only uh, hard yes. copy. Yes, uh, Bridget. I'm sorry, Bridget. Only like one copy we made and signed. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Should I have, Do you want me to? Sorry, I can copy them now. It's it's. Basically, is we have to sign. They they. The way I read it was, they are increasing it by twenty four fifty to do the extra work that we asked them to do as far as painting and epoxying the the, the overflow pipe. Mm -hmm. The new pipe that was installed. Twenty four fifty two thousand four hundred and fifty or twenty four thousand five hundred. No, two thousand four hundred and fifty. Oh, okay. Yeah, we discussed this. I know. Yeah. Um, the change order. There that. was actually a, a. I'm trying to find it here. There was a credit because of, I forget what it was.
Oh, they didn't have to do any con concrete repairs, mm -hmm. and they had it bid budgeted for five hundred dollars. So that's it was the original cost of the change order was two thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. They credited us five hundred dollars for not having to do any concrete work, which brought it down to the twenty-four fifty. Just concrete peak. So has this been done, and we're just yes. for it? Okay. Yes. We we voted to do it back when because they put that pipe in. And yeah. We, yeah. we need we needed to get it painted and epoxied, but it, 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 the best way to do it is when they're there. Yep. Can I just take the back real quick? It wasn't happy. And if you agree, sign it. Yeah. No, I recall our discussion about this mm -hmm. and, and doing it with the time. The time savings while they were there, having to yep. and come back and stuff. I know I was kind of confused when I first saw that. I read it through, I go, oh yeah, okay, this makes sense. So this is when they were coating the tank? Yep. So it's that, all is that complete? Is that done? The, the coating's done, yeah. 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 Okay. They're uh, working on the, the security fence. They have to put down um, some material around the uh, bottom of the fence. They bought the wrong material, so they have to reorder the material for it. The other thing is they were looking for a, a, an extension up to November. Is that enough time for them to get the work done? Uh, I'll have to look into that. Because it's just saying, uh, extend the contract by 28 calendar days to include the, the extension of the extension completion date from September to October and the extension of the final completion date from October to November. That's what I'm asking. Is this stuff done? Are you guys it's, happy with it? Was a, it's a punch list that they're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. November so is that November 1st or November 5th? 5th. Fifth. <coughs> so that seems like there's two, two weeks. The new fabric would be two to three weeks out from the supplier. Well, that's them asking for the time, so I assume that they gave themselves enough time. Well, but he's just saying that they won't be done. The materials, on the materials, yeah, they, they got the wrong material, uh, the new material that they need. Um, it's a new supplier, and the new supplier won't have it to them for two to three weeks. So, so if they need to extend it out, they'll have to come and have it signed yeah. it again. Right. Which is fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. And at the bottom, they're saying they are hoping to have it done uh, the final week of October. They're hoping. Even given the delay in the materials. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. I'm good. I signed it. So I think motion that we accepted the uh, change order. Seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 So, can you need so to sign it as well? Yep. Yeah. I probably should, we should probably vote it for a second. There's also several copies for you. Yeah, it's like four. four. Okay. They all put yeah. out their little sign stickies. I'm glad the tank's coded. How long is that? Coding is supposed to last. Good question. Long time. The last one was done mid '80s. Oh, okay, great. Because I know when I first came on board, they were discussing it. It was like, oh, there's all kinds of cracks on the outside. I'm like, why wouldn't you fix that? They just kept putting it off and putting it off. And mm -hmm. and, you know, it's kind of like the road. Yeah. Most concrete. Pre-stretched concrete tanks are designed uh, are wrapped with um, uh, continuous spans and uh, steel thread, and, but exterior coating protects them. And it's like a stucco type of thing like you would have on your house. And every so many years, it needs to be redone to protect those. So. I mean, besides the treatment plant, there's nothing more important in this. System than that tank yeah. on top of that hill. <laughs> no tank, no water. Right. If you want to peruse through that, that's the next thing on the agenda. Oh, yeah, um, I did. I read this already. I don't know where I was. Or what I saw. I think, oh, you set it up. Yes. Yeah, I'm into this area. Okay. Um, like 8,500 bucks difference? Yeah, the, the question is how, how do we want it to show up on the final bill, which is, there should be an email in there somewhere. 
Um, it's up to you guys how you want mm -hmm. to show up. I'd actually ask Jamie on that with regards to um, the, the bill. They came in under budget for the payment. And so we've got a variance. There. They're only going to charge us, I'll say, 50000 That's whatever I was uh, making a lot. 50000 and it came in at uh, 42000 So that money stays in the warrant article, and then you can transfer it for a like, repurpose that money for a like article. Right. Or so, you can just bring it to town meeting and go for anything. Yeah. Right. So I guess the question Rob is saying to us is that do we change the do we do a change order to match to make our payment match? The, the original yeah, pretty much change the original contract to match what the actual um, what the actual price came so out to be. We can this is this is well, you see there. this is the uh, the letter from Taylor and Howard from Phil. We are reviewing the Cassidy Corporation's payment application for 401 Central Street paving project. And they ended up using less than the estimated quantities of some of the bid items. This means there will be a credit back to the water department for the initial contract amount of $64,199. When this happens, sometimes we execute a balance change order so that the estimated quantities match the actual quantities. And therefore, the amount you pay matches the amount listed on the contract. The other option is to not execute a balance change order so the amount you pay to the contractor will not match the amount listed in the contract. Final payment application will show the remainder matching the amount of the credit you are receiving. And it will be understood that there will be no additional payment to the contractor since this is a final payment. So you have to decide which way you want to do it. I, myself, don't have any problem with option two. I I must, yeah. you, no, yes. I, 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 mean, I don't. Won't take on how to touch this again. They're done. <laughs> yeah, I just said let it ride, and we'll we'll clean up our books post. So option two. Yeah. So I believe we have to sign this application and certification for payment, which reflects. I'll give you each one of you can read it over. Aye. Yeah. Uh, this is the way I read it is it's 519815. We're holding back 2735 85. And we're holding it back until when? That's that's standard the the retainage so you 100 percent sure everything's done. Make sure the punch list gets done. So is the punch list done? But they're not yeah, so they'll re, they'll send a, a bill for the, the re, remainder. So I was just looking, I mean, you can see it, the scheduled value versus, you know, this period column, you know, C versus E, and there's the, there's the variances, and, you know, nice, nice job. It's nice to see it. It's about a $9,000. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Which makes it almost $100,000 less than the next one. <laughs> yeah. They did a nice job. So I'll All entertain right. a motion. Make a motion to accept uh, exercise option two. Seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Ayes have it. So I'm going to sign the middle one. Or the last one. So. You can sign whichever one you want. Do you need three signatures in there? Yep. Thank you. 
the people's office in the future. That's what this pile was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Discussions on 401 Central Street paving. Yeah, other than nice job, looks good, and uh, then just have a good job. Alright, right. you guys have broken down those. Uh, Next setting is to approve the minutes from October 3rd. Everybody had a chance to read them? Yep. Yep. Any issues? Nope. nope. Make a motion to accept. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 And one thing, uh, just going forward for the next meeting, I know we don't do this anymore, but I uh, just throw that out because we have insulation. Could we just uh, talk about that? I know we're past the hot weather season, but um, we're going to do our treatment plant. Treatment plant? Yes. Yes. Do you hear that, Kathy? I'm sorry. That was insulation, right. Insulating the pipes are for at okay, the treatment so facility for the next meeting. Yeah. I know Rob or Bob, one of you guys are working on getting some job. Yep. Yeah. So just uh, see if we can get some of the facts and figures and whatnot. So we can get, get organized and get ready and get it done before the hot season next year. Just so you know, anytime before the Friday, before the, the next meeting, feel free to give them a call for anything you want to put on the agenda. Okay. That's when I usually finalize it is that morning so she can get it there before noon time. Nice. Unless it's a holiday on Monday, then we have to do it on Thursday. You can call me early Friday morning. Uh, okay. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so, yeah. 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 so yeah. that's the end of the agenda. Yeah. 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 Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Good night. <laughs>